Next up is the True Touch de-shedding glove. I've got four pets, three dogs and a cat, so I'm gonna put this thing to the test and see if it works. So will True Touch de-shedding glove work as advertised? That's what I'm gonna find out. Let's check it out. All right, first up, I got my True Touch glove and I've got Bailey the two-year-old golden, the, Bailey the two-year-old golden retriever, who's very excited. She's very excited about this. Bailey, come here. Well, what's this? What is that? Come here, come here, sit. Good girl. All right, let's see how that feels. Does that feel nice? Now Bailey is a shedding machine. If any dog this is going to work on, it's going to be Bailey. Does that feel good, huh? Do you like that? I mean, it, it's making tracks in her fur like it's being brushed. I'm seeing a little bit. Good girl. How does that feel? See, she seems to like this. You're supposed to brush in the direction of the fur. Okay, that feels nice, huh? And I'm getting, I'm getting fur on here. I'm not sure it's as much as with one of my regular brushes. I'm using just moderate pressure like I'm petting her. Yeah, you, you, you want me to keep doing that? Okay, so she likes this. All right, good girl. Okay, let's see how that, well, see, that's a lot of fur. That is a lot of fur right there. Now let's see if, it, if that peels off the way they show in the commercial. Let's see what we got here. Well, that did a pretty good, I mean, I've seen a lot of reviews out there where it doesn't work, but in this case, that, that peeled right off and it did pick up hair. So with Bailey, the two-year-old golden retriever, True Touch did a pretty good job. It worked on a young shedding golden retriever but let's see how it works on a golden retriever that's recently been groomed. Let's try 12 year old Daisy the golden retriever who has a slightly different coat than Bailey did. Come here. Okay, look, see Daisy has a very straight coat. Right, Daisy? Daisy was groomed about a month ago. So she's gonna have a little bit different uh, situation than Bailey did. Daisy. You good girl, huh? Yeah, okay, you gonna sit down. See, Daisy seems to like this too. I'm picking up some fur here. Not quite as much as Bailey, but picking up some. getting some fur, right? I noticed that when I do, if I do a little twist at the end, it kind of picks up the hair instead of having it like, like that, it kind of picks it up. If I, just, if I just raise it up, it seems like it leaves some on the bottom, but I usually do a little twist and those last couple bristles grab it. All right, I think that Daisy also gave us a pretty good amount of hair. Now let's see how it peels off. There you go. Seems like it peeled off pretty well. I noticed an earlier test that I did that I haven't filmed that if you only have a little bit of hair, it's harder to get off, but if you have a lot of hair, it's easier to get off. So it might be fine for a long haired dog, but what about a small short haired dog? Here's my eight year old Chihuahua, who is the next guinea pig. She is getting some fur back there, but it's not really coming off on the glove too much. A little bit.
I know. I mean, it, it, it brushes her nicely. All right, so this is, this is what I'm getting with a Chihuahua, but now she's happy. So here's the problem when I have a small dog like a Chihuahua. I mean, I don't have a lot to grab onto, so let's see how easy it is to remove from there. Yeah, see, that's gonna be a little bit more problematic because it's kind of just stuck in here. Not quite as easy to clean when it's a short-haired dog, and especially a small short-haired dog because the hairs are just so small. They don't really have a lot of these hooks to grab onto, so you have to kind of pick it out of there. Here we go on a 16-year-old cat. See how, I mean, she seems to kind of like the, the way it feels. That's good. I'm getting some hair on. I'm getting some hair off of her. Can't see it as well because it's black. Definitely getting fur off of her. Again, I have to put a little twist at the end, like that, to kind of pick it up. Oh, she's nuts. All right, so let's see what we got here. Definitely got some fur off. Let's see how easy it lifts. Not too bad. I think besides the short haired dog, it seems to do a decent job on longer to medium haired pets. Um, it seems like they don't mind it as much as being brushed, although a brush may pick up more. So it's kind of a trade off. If your cat hates being, or dog hates being brushed and they have long hair, this might work pretty well. I thought it might be a fair comparison to compare the True Touch with this regular dog brush and see how it compares. So let's do that. I'll use Bailey since she has the most fur. Oh, you're very excited. You're very excited, aren't you, Bailey? You want me to brush you? Sit. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do like 10 strokes, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, that's what I got with 10 strokes of this brush. Now let me try 10 strokes with the two True Touch Come here, sit, sit, good girl. And we're gonna try 10 strokes with this brush. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, there's the difference. 10 strokes with each, the brush certainly picked up more, but if your dog were afraid of being brushed, uh, the true touch would definitely be the way to go. Last night I was thinking about how to get those little hairs from the Chihuahua out because picking them out isn't very efficient and I realized all you have to do is pat your hand on the ground like you're banging an eraser and the little hairs will come out like this. Easy. So with the Chihuahua and the small hair dogs, just bang your hand on the ground and you clean it out quickly. In the end, the True Touch glove worked pretty well for me, especially the long-haired dogs where it seemed to work very efficiently and it was easy to peel out. Short-haired dog, I found out later that you had to just kind of bang your glove on the ground. Shorter-haired dogs um, was a little bit more problematic getting the hair out, but eventually I realized you could just bang it on the concrete like a, you'd bang an old-school blackboard eraser and it would come right out. It may not be as efficient as a regular pet brush, but a true touch brush, to me, it's not that bad. Mm -hmm.